Well, as Jim Nance always says, hello friends, and welcome to my uh, little video from the State Senior Stroke Play Championship, played at Perry Park Country Club. The final round was on Thursday, October 1st. Steve Ivan in the final group. He was in second place going into the final round. The uh, round, uh, kind of a struggle at times for Stevie. But uh, one thing you know about Steve is he never gives up and he always grinds it out to the very end. And that would be huge in this day of uh, ebb and flow, the way things went out there on the golf course. And uh, you'll want to stay tuned for the end because it was an epic finish. As uh, we get to it right now, every shot from the round, the final round of the State Senior Stroke Play Championship at Perry Park Country Club. Enjoy, everybody. Patty Jewett Golf Course, Steve Ivan. Oh, Stevie. Here today at beautiful Perry Park Country Club. And uh, Steve Ivan in the final group of the senior state amateur or stroke play. And we've uh, just seen Steve hit off the first tee. No room in the cart today, so we're walking it. So we'll keep you abreast of what's going on today. Hope it's a great day. Beautiful place. First hole, second shot. Cut, Stevie. Easy par to get things started. Down to right center. Looks like a beautiful drive. It's like a kick to the right, though. Steve's drive kicked right over here, so he had to kind of favor the left side here with the iron, but it looks good. Oh, it's taking the slope beautifully. It's right in the middle, perfect position. Cutting in there nicely. Oh yeah, about 10 feet. Good shot, Steve. Second hole, this will be for the lead for birdie. Oh, it didn't turn. It's got a turn coming down mountain. Settles for par, we're gonna tie. Three wood on the right center looks all right. Always got to watch for the bounce here at Perry Park. It's the third hole, second shot, just left of the pin. Bounced a little left on him.
Good ball right down the right center. Looks good. Number four. Stayed in the fairway. A lot of room up there. Okay, kind of a key shot in the uh, round coming up here. Steve's bogeyed this hole the first two days. And he didn't hit that second shot particularly good. We'll see what happens here. Trying to cut it in there. It's starting left of the hole, but now it's cutting back. Looks good. Big bounce, and we'll see how it uh, handled the green there. Add a baby, Steve. Well Looks good. A little short. Just under the hole. Shots, Steve. Six holes from about 113. Looks good. Oh, it spun back on him, though. Not a bad putt off that fringe. And we have a new leader. Pulled it heading for the bunker unless it clears it. Saying good shot. What do I know? Some of the scenery here at Perry Park. It's just right of the six. Well, that's actually the. Oh, I can't remember. Probably the third green or fourth green right over there. This is the sixth green where we just came off of. Steve's in the lead now in this group. Uh, the guy he's chasing, he was two down, but he made an eight. So Steve's got in by two now. Don't know what the guys are doing ahead of us, though. It is just freaking beautiful here at Perry Park. It's the uh, second shot for Steve Ivan here on the seventh hole. Pins tucked back left. Excellent strike. Maybe a little left of the hem, but it's starting to cut a little. Oh, man, it looks great. Almost went in the hole. This is the major problem when you're playing in the final group and the two guys you're with are starting to go sideways. So you still have to bear down. 
So uh, Robin, who was leading coming in, they just made an eight. And now he's putting for five on the front of the green. He was over the green, 30 yards over the green here. So we'll see what happens. Okay, big putt here for Steve. He hasn't made a birdie yet today. Had three good looks. Oh, the last roll. That a baby. Boy, it looks good. Cutting right on it. Great shot. Take our word for it. It's like my dog. First I'm deaf, now I can't see him. <laughs> We should all have the problem Steve Ivan has. Four birdie just short of the green here on number eight. Gotta go. Got hung up in that fringe again. Had a baby, Steve. Clutch. Could be trouble. Hard left hook. Well, we have our first bit of adversity here today. Steve hit a quick hook here over the left. They're down there eyeballing. Looked like the rules official found it. And Steve is on it. If he's got any kind of a lie, he's got a shot here. But that could be really thick over there. So we'll find out. Yeah. All he could do there. Take your medicine. Today's Can We Take a Hint segment. <laughs> Can we take a hint, Pablo? Subtle hint. for par after hitting it in the penalty area here on number nine pitched out and hit his third shot to here spun off the green short all speed here looks pretty good it's within about two and a half maybe three feet this putt here is for bogey here on number nine Good save, all in all. Plus two on the front nine. Okay, we're here on the 10th tee. Steve just finished the front nine, two over. He's got the guys in his group covered, but uh, we gotta check out the guys ahead of us because they were real close too. He might be on the rocks. This is one of the features of Perry Park when you uh, fish once in a while and you go by a lake and you, <laughs> you hear that sound, you think, oh, it's a lunker. But it's just golf balls. They hit into the uh, water here. It's the driving range. So when you hear the kerplunk, it's not a big fish. Yeah, I've got a situation. 
situation here with relief. Had to take relief from the cart path. Took the drop and the drop from the sprinkler box. Now the ball's in play. Now, no penalty though, of course. He's just trying to get it up there close to the green where he can perhaps save par. Unfortunate break with his drive. It hit the cart path and kicked right here. Could have just easily kicked straight or gone left, but instead, the old rub of the green and kicked dead right. Back to play. Has a chance to save par now with a wedge. Third shot here on the par 4 10th. Spinning back, I think he wanted to spin a little bit there, but it got out to the right on the little bit. It is a greasy, fast little 20 footer here for par on the 10th. Be a miraculous save. the swing. These greens are diabolical. Got a little two and a half, three footer here that he's got to start off outside the hole. Never fun. the edge and dived in. Down the left side, we got a good bounce. Let's see if he's got an angle. Take an iron for position down here. Try to get it down there to your favorite club. Leaking a little right on it. You gotta walk single file up this par five. Third shot for Steve Iron. 120 yards. We're gonna pitch a wedge. Fat, hit it fat. It's trouble. make yet but it's getting close to that here to avoid the third straight bogey oh you gotta be kidding me to the left oh it got a great kick On the track, just a little short. It's a good par. There you go, Stevie. Well, we had to do a little reconnaissance there. 
Not uh, very good news for Steve right now. I'll tell you in a minute here, but here's Steve's second shot here. Must have hit it already. I thought that was a practice wing. Not very happy. Anyway, uh, the guy that Steve played in the match play final, Steve was three ahead of him going into the day, but he's one under today. Steve's four over, so that puts Steve two down right now. And I apologize, I can't remember the gentleman's name. Hell of a player, though. Spin left. Oh yeah, good bounce. I like it. Huge putt here for Birdie. Had a baby. Within one of the lead now, I'm thinking. It's always good to have a lightning shelter. You never know. Fourteenth tee. Down the left side needs a cut of hair. Good shot. Good shot, Steve. Well, we got us a real wildlife segment here on the fourteenth. Got squirrels. We got a deer down here. We just had a flock of wild turkeys going down to the left. I'm going to see if I can catch up to them here. There's about a half dozen of them. Oh, there's another deer. There are the turkeys. The turkeys are over on the tee box there. Oh, Thanksgiving just around the corner. I see the one I want. I want the tom turkey right in the middle. Player's gonna drive by here now. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got turkeys on the run. Seven of them. Just stay with them here for a little bit. Yeah, you see the one I want for dinner? Right in the middle, there he goes. Leading the pack up into the uh, brush. The rest of the uh, Six, they're all just snacks. All you could ever want here at Perry Park. Well, when Steve hit his drive here, I thought he was just fine, but he was saying I might have to hit a big hook. He's worried about this pine tree on the left, but I think he's gonna have an angle. We'll get down there and take a look here in a minute. Oh, Chunky Doodle, we're all familiar with that one. You see, Steve's got just enough room here. He's probably gonna wanna hit a little draw, though. Pin's kind of in the back left section of the screen. Oh, a great strike. It's not turning over, though. Let's see if it spins left on the green. Oh, it did. It took a nice bounce left. Rolling toward the cup. On a 20-footer. Good shot. Okay, for birdie here on 14. Didn't get as close as he wanted. Looks slow, but it should get some run out here. Oh, yeah. Putt, Steve. Hey, baby. Four. Yeah, I think you're a yard off target there. That's some more wildlife here. There's a the little baby fawn. Not so much a baby anymore with mama out in front. I'll swing by him here over in the shade. Oh, 
Ah, it's great to be in Colorado in the high country up here at Perry Park. Well, time for another little update segment here. 15th hole right now. Um, Steve just made a par around 14. So you know what? He was two down. He made the birdie to get within one. Now it depends on what Robert Polk is doing, of course, ahead of him. Uh, the word is that nobody else really playing very well today. So Steve's three over on the day right now. It's got to be at least one behind Polk, depending on what he's done here. He was uh, one under um, through the day on the last green. This is the 15th hole here. I just get the feeling Steve's going to need a couple birdies coming in. I think one's going to get him in a playoff. I think two's going to win it. I just have that feeling. Tough finish here, though, at Perry Park. Look at that scenery behind him here. Awesome. Ball was below his feet here, so I have a tendency to squirt right, which it has done. It's just a hair. It's in the middle of the green, though. Bounces right toward it. Looks like about a 15-footer. Shot, Steve. Left past the hole. No putt is easy at this stage. Had a baby, Steve. Pure position driving hole here. Well, that's a key moment here in the uh, proceedings here on the 16th hole. All you got to do is hit it down there in a fairway, but Steve kind of came over. He's, he's been a little wayward on a couple drives today. And the way they're looking at it right up there, the officials, he's right next to the cart path. The green is over to the right of where they're standing. So if he's fortunate and is able to get a club on it, maybe he's got an alleyway there and can just rip one up through there, get it somewhere up close to the green. We'll find out here shortly. Well, the news is not good. Steve's so gonna have to pitch out here. It's gonna be a tough pitch out. He's gotta try to get it to the fairway here. Sure. That's not a bad shot. strike. Looks good, Steve. Well, when it comes down to it, somewhere in the point of a round, you've got to make a putt to win the golf tournament. You make this one. Oh, I 
it didn't break. It hung up there to the left. I cannot believe it stayed there. Neither can Steve. Now he'll tap that in here for a bogey, costly bogey here on the 16th hole. Strike. It's high. Cutting a little on him, though. Might be just off the green, chipping a little. Oh, what an incredible scenic hole this is. Rock outcroppings. Steve's shot is just barely on the green there. He's got a long putt at it, though. Man, he would have killed to have the other two with a chance at it, but... Gonna have to put up over a little rise there. Shouldn't have too much fringe to deal with. Let's go see if we can make a bomb. Well, from the angle up top, made it look like it was a little bit better. He's actually going to chip this one. This is an incredibly tough chip. Oh, and he stuck it in the ground. Uh, tough one there. Tough to take. Well, they thought the putt on the last hole was a must make. This is must make squared. Probably needs us to have any chance to win the golf tournament. Missed it a little left. That's tough to take. Here at number 18, it's one of the screwiest holes I've ever come across. That's the uh, landing area. But the first player in our group just took like a little seven iron and just hit it down here to the left. He hit it over the trees. So Steve's gonna hit a utility. A very wide target across the lake. going right. Bounced at least. Should be alright. It's a long ways to the green, I'm assuming. Stupid hole. Really stupid hole. Yeah, once you get down here, you can see maybe the beauty of the hole, but uh, Steve's playing with hit a 9 iron <laughs> right over there to the edge. Key, I guess, is to hit your tee ball closer to the edge. You got to take it on a little bit. Steve Flair is to the right here, and that's why he has such a long shot. 216 uphill. You're gonna have to get some kind of hybrid in there. A little late on the trigger. I think it jumped up on there, huh? you an idea on this hole. That's where we were. Way down there. I had to come up the hill here. Now see, you could take a little 9-iron and just hit it down there. Over the top of the tree. Oh well. Well. I told Steve he needed to rocky this one. A little rocky Taravilla chip in special here. it short. Tough putt coming back. Putt to save par here on 18. Oh. 
Had a baby, Steve. Never give up. Never, ever give up. That's my man, Steve Ivan. <laughs> so, well, I mean, you know, we're, you're laughing, aren't you? No, 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 we're tied. I mean, this, this is our final score. We got 10 10. So, um, we got a sudden death playoff. The, the format's going to be uh, just going off just one only and run out until two, three, however long it takes us. We're just going to keep playing the golf course, right? right. So, um, we'll be here the whole time. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, but again, it's it's stroke play. This is not a match, right? So it's there's no goods. Or we're still playing. Same, our local rules still apply, right? So um, lift clean, smooth, and replace in the bunker. Um, and then uh, flag stick stay in. So other than that, you guys identify. We got some spotters out there for you guys. Robert, you're going to have the honor. You carded first. All right. And whenever you're ready to go, let's get it going. Good luck, guys. Play well. Good. That's Steve. That's correct. That's a good club. Oh, looks gorgeous. A little past it, maybe? Good, good shot. And a baby, Stevie. Good going. Good play. 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 Good Good call, huh? Good call. Oh, that's right. I remember that. Here, here, get a good picture of yourself. That's awesome. Yeah, aren't I supposed to kiss it? Kind of. Yeah, give it a kiss. Anything? There you go. There you go. I already cleaned it. We'll drink out of it later. You always close your eyes when you're kissing the girl. <laughs> Depends on the girl. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. There he is. Right there. He's the state oh, senior amateur champion. Steve Ivan, it was quite a battle today, Steve. Yes, it was. <laughs> well, it's uh, it was pretty ugly. Let's just go right to the playoff. You know, I yeah. think that was the greatest just... shot you hit all day, the little eight iron there. Yeah, on absolutely. The playoff hole. That just erases everything. It does. <laughs> you don't have to worry about anything. You know, you were right there, and then, uh, but Polk bogeyed three of the last four. You bogeyed uh, two of the last two four. Two of the last so four. So it ended up being tied. Ended up making a slick downhiller on 18, which yes. I don't think mattered, yes. but I. This is a thing I got that course. out. You know, as far as being tight, I think that's oh, the whole oh, key to this place. Yeah, it's very tight, and the greens are slopey and grainy and fast and, and difficult. You, and you survived that uh, little thing that happened there on 18. That's kind of a screwy hole, but they were able to get that chip. I was hoping you'd Rocky Tarvel up there, maybe chip it in yeah. to win it, but you were uh, able to make that putt. You said coming back down the hill. That turns out to be probably the key putt of the round. 
Yeah. Besides the one to win it. Now that, yeah. Now that you look back. Hey. Well, what a summer. You win the match play. You win the stroke play. It's a pretty good summer. Not too bad for... And I'm glad I was here for both of them. A guy from Pueblo and my best buddy right here. Steve Ivan. <laughs> Steve Ivan and the Disciples of Golf right here, and I'm one of his main disciples. Yeah, Jimmy and I, we go back to, like you said last time, 8-7. There you go. And look at that. The sun is going down. Right yeah, there it is. Good job. All right. There he is, Steve Ivan. Well, there you have it. Another epic victory for Steve Ivan in the state senior stroke play championship at Perry Park Country Club. His uh, second CGA victory of the year. Uh, you go back, Steve won a CGA title back in 1979. He won the junior match play championship at age 17. Um, then he has also uh, won the match play, and I think it's his second Stroke play title, so uh, four overall, I think, is what the count is right now. And uh, probably will ensure induction into the, uh, I would think, into the Colorado Golf Hall of Fame with uh, what he did this summer. He was probably right on the cusp of it anyway going in, but uh, when you win two big titles like that, the way he did it this year, under some of the circumstances he did it, it uh, warrants uh, consideration and for my money induction into the hall of fame think about it in the round when you uh, look at it steve ivan won the golf tournament without his best stuff that was not his best round of golf he was not firing on all cylinders as uh, so many as have, have seen him at times through the years he was struggling with his driver he was a little wayward here and there but the thing about it, he always grinds away. He always makes the right decision when he gets into trouble, minimizes damage. That is so huge for any golfer. you got to minimize damage. He didn't make any double bogeys the entire round. And the guys in our the group, we had a quad. We had a couple triples. We had double bogeys. I mean, but Steve, there was chances here and there, as you saw some of the shots, some of the places he hit his tee ball. But he was able to recover and minimize damage. And in the very end, that was the key, and, uh, you know, grinding it out there on 18, very easily could have just wilted and mailed it in after bogeying 16 and 17, but made that clutch par putt on 18, and then to go out into the playoff and defeat the man that he defeated in extra holes in the uh, match play championship. It was just a fitting end to a great summer of golf for my friend Steve Ivan. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video montage of Steve's round and another victory. And you know what? I have designs on trying to get into where I can play maybe again. <laughs> but if I don't, I'll be glad to film Steve every time if he's going to get a victory. Till we do it again next year, Jim Brooks bidding you good night.